Hello friends, welcome back to easy to learn tech. In this video, we are going to see AUX DC inverter air conditioning error codes and the solution. If you are watching my video first time, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notification. In this video, I am going to show you how easily you can do the troubleshooting if you know the error code and you if you know the exact solution for the error code. And for all other brands, I will provide the link in the description. You can go to the description and you can check the link and you can check the error codes of your air conditioning and you can do the proper solution. Without wasting our time, let's see the AUX inverter, air conditioning error codes and their proper solution. Let's see the first error code. When you see in your AUX inverter air conditioning in your indoor display E1, it means room temperature sensor faulty. As you can see in the picture, this is the room temperature sensor which is installed in our indoor unit. First of all, you have to check the placement, then you have to check the connection in the PCB if it is connected properly or not. If it is not connected properly, connect it properly and start the unit and if you get the solution, it means the connection was loose. If again it's showing the same error, then you have to check the resistance of your room temperature sensor. If the resistance is not good, change the sensor, you will get the solution. And if the resistance is good in your room temperature sensor, then you have to check the PCB if the out supply which is coming to our sensor is good or not. If it is not good, then you have to change the indoor PCB and you will get the solution for the error E1. Let's see the next error code. When you see in your indoor display E2, it means your outdoor coil temperature sensor is faulty. Directly you have to go to your outdoor unit, then you have to check the placement of your coil sensor. If the placement is not good, place it in proper place. Then you have to check the connection in your outdoor PCB. If the connection is loose, if the wire is between the PCB and the sensor is cut or damaged, that you have to repair and you will get the solution of the error E2. If the placement and the connection is good, then you have to check the resistance of your coil temperature sensor. If the resistance is not good, need to change the coil temperature sensor. If the resistance is good, then you have to check in your outdoor PCB if the out supply which is coming from your outdoor PCB to the sensor is good or not. If it is not good, then you have to change the outdoor PCB and you will get the solution for the error E2 and your unit will be working normal. Let's see the next error code. When you see in your display E3, it means indoor coil temperature faulty. In our indoor unit, as you can see in this picture, same sensor, coil sensor is installed in your indoor unit also, which protects to form the eyes in our coil. First of all, you have to check the placement, then you have to check the connection in the PCB. If the placement and connection is good, then you have to check the resistance of your coil sensor. If the resistance is not good, then you have to change the sensor and start the unit. If you get the solution by doing this, then you can stop the process and you can make your unit work. Again, if you are getting the same error E3, it means you have to check the resistance of your coil sensor. If the resistance is not good, change the coil sensor. If the resistance is good, then you have to check the out supply from your indoor PCB. If the out supply is not coming properly, need to change the indoor PCB and your unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code. When you see in your indoor display E4, it means your indoor fan motor is having some problem. Sometimes if your indoor motor is struck, that time you show the error. If the feedback from the indoor motor to the PCB, if it doesn't get correctly, at that time also you show the error. At this time, your indoor coil, there will be ice formation because your fan is not working and it will show the error E4. You have to check the connection and wire between indoor and the fan motor if it is correct or not. If it is not correct, correct it properly and start the unit. And if it is working normal, it means it was due to the wire cut or damage of the wire. If you get the error again, then you have to check the out supply of your indoor PCB if the out supply is good or not. If the out supply is good, then you have to change the fan motor and you will get the solution for the error E4. Let's see the next error code. When you see in your indoor display E5 or SE, both the error code means indoor and outdoor communication failure. Between indoor and outdoor, there should be communication that it can easily cool the room properly. If the communication is getting missed, at that time our indoor or outdoor will be not running and it will showing the error E5 or SC. At that time, first of all, you have to check the 
cable between indoor and outdoor if the cable is good or not if the cable is good then you have to check the terminal of your indoor as well as outdoor if the same wire is connected or not if the same wire is not connected connect it properly and start the unit and you will get the solution again if you are getting the same error it means there will be issue in indoor pcb or outdoor pcb first of all you have to check the indoor pcb out it should give the supply dc 9 to 24 and same you have to check in the outdoor there should be 9 to 24 DC volt out coming from your outdoor unit. If it is not coming from any one of indoor or as well as outdoor, it means you have the issue of PCB. You have to change the PCB and you will get the solution for the error E5. Let's see the next error code. When you see in your display E0, it means indoor over current protection. In our indoor unit, if the current is getting over, at that time we will get this protection error E0 and it will stop the unit to work. In this case, it can protect our unit because if all the errors are coming in our indoor or outdoor, it protects our unit that it can't damage any other parts. So when you get this error E0, you have to check the power supply which is coming from your main breaker if it is stable or not. If it is not stable, then you have to call your electrician and do the power check if it is why it's getting low and high so in this case you have to check the your electricity properly and you will get the solution for the error e0